Hey guys, welcome to the new series. This series is the Rookie Series, and it's kicking off this week. I'm gonna put out one video a week, and it might be flatbed uh, tips, it might be flatbed securement tips, it may be just driving tips. What I'll do is in the title, I will make sure that I put something in that title so that way it's recognizable, so that way I don't waste your time uh, because I value your time. I appreciate everybody being here. Uh, so if you like the videos, if you don't like the videos, give them a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Uh, just let me know, um, you know, one way or the other, so that way I know what to what to do or what not to do. And leave a comment down below and let me know uh, maybe your tip uh, that you can add into that video, so that way we can provide some value to everybody. I'd love to have everybody's help with this and really bring some knowledge to the trucking space. You know, I've been a flatbed driver for about a year and a half. I've been a truck driver for about seven years, and I certainly don't know everything. I will never know everything. Thing. There's always something to learn and I believe some everybody can add value. So please add some value down in those comments down below. But today we're talking about flatbed securement and eye to the sky coils in plastic pipe. It's not something that happens often, but it is something that you're going to run across uh, and they, they are secured a little bit differently than most other loads. So be sure and check it out. Let's go check out this load. Parked here at the rest area. I needed to get out of the way. Uh, but what we have here is we have eye to the sky plastic pipe coils. And they want these loaded a certain way. They want the very front and the very back, uh, they want two straps basically, one on each side. And it goes up over, comes down to the middle and comes right back. Uh, onto the same side. Um, and then for the middle stacks, they just want one strap up over and across. That's that's what the customer requires. Now, the last time I ran this load, I ran it out of Pennsylvania, and I, I don't remember, it was maybe 400 miles. By the time I got there, the second stack in the back, the strap had almost fallen off. Uh, so I did not feel comfortable with just throwing one strap over across the top, uh, because I am a safe driver. I don't, you know, I don't make hard jerks. I, I make nice and smooth turns. Uh, you know, I try to just be professional. So I went ahead and I actually used a strap on each side. So you can see kind of going down the row there that I had one on each side. So let's get up here and see what this looks like. You can see that obviously I put a half twist in and that's just because you, you can't really tighten this load down super tight. Uh, otherwise you'll damage the product. Uh, but it's got a half twist and that's what that half twist looks like. And you can see it all the way down. Uh, but one, you know, a few things to note um, one, whenever you're throwing, when you throw the strap up in there and you, you have the, the hook side hanging down, you want that hook hanging down, if you can, somewhere around in here. And that will bring the strap up against the inside of that coil and then you can kind of give it some slack, give it some slack and it's going to wind up dropping right straight down. And it will drop down actually in between these two boards on the pallet and then you'll be able to reach in there, grab it, pull it out, and uh, you know place it. Um, and then another thing, just this is just kind of basic strapping 101. Um, you want to keep your straps off of the stake pockets, uh, and then also down in the winches, you want to keep them off of the sides. That's going to keep them from fraying, and that's going to allow the, your straps to last as long as possible. This strap that we're looking at right here is actually pretty old. Um, but at the top, they're gonna have, uh, I don't know what it is, it's just those, that black padding. They want you to use that for your edge protectors. Uh, but overall, this is a really simple load. Uh, like I said, I went ahead and put extra securement on it. Uh, I don't think there's any, any such thing as extra securement, uh, but I did wind up putting more than what the customer, uh, you know, minimally called for. So you can actually see I did a poor job on this one, <laughs> this strap. This is exactly what you wanna avoid right here. See, I'm not perfect, guys. I don't do everything perfectly. Um, this is what you wanna avoid here, but take a look, you know, kind of another quick tip here. 
you can see I did not bring this strap right here, even though that would have been the spot that you would think. I brought it over here because the strap, it would have been rubbing up against the edge of that uh, pocket, but instead now it's rubbing up against the edge of the spool and that's not going to damage the strap. So it, when you can use spools, do not use the edge of the, the stake pockets because that will damage your straps. So nice and easy, quick load. This load's headed down to Houston, uh, ran out of Knoxville and yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned next week for more tips.